Space may be infinite, but this morning, a debris field threatens the space station. We were recently informed of a satellite breakup and uh, need to have you guys uh, start reviewing the safe haven procedure. That call from ground control to the space station coming after Russia fired a missile at one of its own satellites, destroying it, launching hundreds of thousands of pieces of dangerous debris into orbit and triggering a full-throated condemnation from the U.S. government. It was dangerous. It was reckless. It was irresponsible. The space station circles the Earth every 90 minutes, moving at more than 17,000 miles per hour. If it collides with even the smallest piece of debris, it would have the impact of almost 10 times the force of a bullet. NASA says the seven astronauts on board retreated to their docked capsules Monday in case an emergency escape was needed. But later, all on board resumed normal operations. Those seven astronauts, including four Americans, one German, and two Russian cosmonauts. NASA astronaut Mark Vandehey calmly signing off to Mission Control in Houston. Thanks for a, uh, a crazy but uh, well-coordinated day. It was certainly a great way to bond as a crew, starting off our very first work day in space. The three other Americans, Raja Kari, Kayla Barron, and Tom Marshburn, and German astronaut Matthias Mara, arrived just last week on SpaceX's Crew-3 flight. The U.S. State Department warning the U.S. will work with allies to respond to Russia's action. U.S. Space Command is now tracking the debris and says it could remain in orbit for years, possibly decades. Uh, what the Russians did today with these 1,500 pieces of track trackable orbital debris uh, poses a risk not only to those astronauts, not only to those cosmonauts, uh, but to satellites to the interests of all nations. So, Carrie, that debris could be in orbit for a long time, for years. So is it still going to pose a risk to the International Space Station? Well, NASA's mission control says the urgent threat will likely last for at least a couple more days. But as you point out, there is also other space junk up there. In fact, in June, a piece of space junk hit the International Space Station robotic arm. So it is something they have to deal with. This morning, Russia is now confirming that they did blow up that satellite with a missile, but they're pushing back, saying that it caused no threat to anybody on the International Space Station, including their own cosmonauts. Mm. Oda? All right, Carrie Sanders for us there in uh, Cape Canaveral. Uh, thanks, Carrie. All right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.